Hello there everyone, welcome back to another Football Manager 2018 team guide for the teams in the Premier League in the 2017-18 to season. Today it's going to be quite a weird one actually, because it's with, it's with Liverpool, which of course is the team I support if you're new around here. And also the team I'm doing in my LFC beta, well of course it's going to be the LFC beta, duh, but on my FM beta, FM, the FM beta, FM18 beta. So to look at the original squad again is going to be quite bizarre. But if we go straight into the squad, obviously, I think Liverpool have got quite a strong squad attackingly, of course, with the likes of Salah joining, the likes of Lai Chamberlain as well over the summer. But there's, you know, got the likes of Coutinho, Mane, Sturridge, which are really solid players as well as Firmino. But at the back, they are lacking quite a bit. They've got Matip and Lovren, really, who are the main two centre-backs. And although Gomez has got a good potential and a very good versatility as well along the back, you probably need a bit more backup in the centre-back position. Let's have a quick look at the dynamics before we get on to transfers. The atmosphere, in the, uh, the atmosphere in the dressing room is brilliant because you've got pretty much a g decent main social group. Secondary social group is full of uh, players that have just joined, apart from Lovren and Markovic. Uh, but obviously Markovic has come back off loan. And Salah and Robertson, who have just joined the club, don't really fit into any at the moment. The hierarchy consists of Henderson, Milner and Alana at the top. With Coutinho, Klein, Mignolet, Sturridge and Clavan. Clavan because he's obviously an experienced player as the highly influential player. So obviously you don't really want to make Henderson, Milner or Lallana happy. But it might be tricky to keep particularly Milner happy because he's definitely a fringe player. So if, you, if he doesn't get in your squad then you might seem quite disappointed and quite angry and could affect a number of players in your squad. So as you can see for Liverpool in the main squad, there's only five players who can play centre-back. One of them being Emre Chance, probably not one of the best suited. And of course, Clavin and Gomez, not quite either to their ability or not quite to a brilliant ability. So a few centre-backs I would definitely suggest for Liverpool are either Virgil van Dijk. Obviously, Liverpool have been linked with him in real life. He's a top quality centre-back at the end of the day. Uh, obviously, played for Celtic before joining Southampton a few years ago. 197 caps in his 26-year-old career. Um, his leadership is very good, 17, so could be a team leader quite easily, which is made what you need with the leaving of Milner. Potentially, if you try to start, try to start, uh, leave leave Milner, if you try to get Milner to leave, not leave Milner, but get Milner to leave. But anyway, uh, Van Dijk's quite expensive though. Liverpool, have, uh, well, I say only. I think there's, I think it's 75 million the transfer budget Liverpool have got. Yeah, that's right. Um, so if you can sign Van Dijk for about 50, take a big chunk out. But I think it'd be well worth it because of his leadership. Another player you could buy at centre back potentially um, could be Ryan Bertrand. He can play as a centre back as well as a left back, but really he's more of a left back. With Alberto Moreno only really being the main left back. They've got Milner who can play those well and Robertson, but you probably need another left back. So Ryan Bertrand's a good option as well as Jose Goya or Haya. It should be. For some reason, the other centre-back, De Vries, did not save on the shortlist. But here's De Vries anyway, a much cheaper option than Van Dijk. Let's just compare the two, Van Dijk and De Vries. Obviously, De Vries is a very much discounted version of Van Dijk. And as you can see, Van Dijk being the uh, blue one. Uh, if you look at De Vries, his mentors and defending are better. But if you look at aerial speeds, all that sort of thing, Van Dijk's a lot better. I don't think attacking stats really matter, obviously, as a defender. But I'd say these two are quite interchangeable. If you want a bit more re realistic to real life, sign Van Dijk. If not, buy De Vries, which is who I bought on my LFC bay to save itself. The other left back you could sign, obviously, is Jose Hoya. We'll go for him just in a second. He's only worth 8.25 million, and I've used him quite a few times on FM18 team guide so far. And as you can see, he's got good mentals, good physicals, and good technicals. If we compare him to Ryan Bertrand, uh, we'll also compare him to Moreno, why not? But if you compare the two, it looks like that they're quite interchangeable with high having the better mentors, Bertrand's better technicals, and pretty similar physicals. Pretty similar players, I would say. If you just quickly go... Oh, what's happened here? If we just go onto their comparison on the overview... Uh, overview, here we go. Yeah, they're, they're pretty interchangeable. Obviously, high has got better speed, vision, attacking, and technical. But Bertrand is quite close. But high is a younger player, so he's probably going to develop into a bit of a better player. Just one more player to recommend then, Olivier Giroud. We've kind of been linked with him in real life a little bit. As kind of an older striker, someone who can come on as an impact substitution. Someone we kind of lost. I know it sounds daft when the player like Ricky Lambert left because he's an older player who can come on and be an impact sub. But we haven't got too many players who have got the, the reputation, I think, in the Premier League would be a right word, to uh, scare defence, I think you could argue. If you, if you compare Giroud with a player like Sturridge, obviously Sturridge is probably going to be the better player. Actually, uh, obviously, if Giroud's got much better aerials, mentals, and defending. But if you compare the two, 
Giroud is a pretty good player, definitely a good Premier League player, and you would be daft not to sign him if you wanted a striker anyway. Maybe you want to sell Ings or Sturridge or someone like that, or even a Rigi. Um, you can definitely buy Giroud for a decent price. If we look at the team, then of course you have got Divock Origi, I've just mentioned, out on loan. If we go into the youth squad, there we go, Divock Origi is out on loan. I don't think you can bring him back. But if you look at the squad, maybe you want to get rid of Clavin, because to be honest, he's not too brilliant as centre-back. Uh, Markovic is never really going to be too good in terms of potential. Solanke, you might want to send him out on loan, as well as Grudcic. They're young players, so unless you want to use them. Then you're going to have the trouble at left-back, if you do not sign another left-back, of course, that you're going to have one of your players angry, because uh, they're not getting enough first-team football at the end of the day. And I honestly think Milner, even though he's good, he... he he expects a bit too much. He's incredibly versatile. There's no doubt about that. And he's got good work rate. But he asks for a bit too much for his book, if you know what I'm saying. Because, you know, he expects to start every game. Well, his ability isn't there anymore. So he's going to either accept it or leave. In terms of goalkeepers, obviously, Karius is going to be a little bit better in terms of his potential. But Mignolet is still a solid goalkeeper. So you can interchange and rotate the two during the season. In terms of injuries, Klein's out for 45, 45, 4 to 5 months. With Lallana out for 3 to 4 and Sturridge out for 3 to 5 weeks. So Lallana and Klein you won't be able to use at the start. But I wouldn't be too worried about that. In terms of formation then for Liverpool, I would probably go over 4 triple 2 um, and ignore the narrow actually. Just make it a proper 4 2 2 as I would class it as. Uh, with obviously the main thing being Coutinho... And Sadio Mane out on the wings with Salah being a rotational option. You can play uh, Mane as a winger on support and um, Coutinho on an inside forward support. And Salah can obviously change with Mane and Coutinho as and when can be. But I'd probably recommend 4 triple 4. Uh, sorry, 4 2, 4 triple 2, not 4 triple 4. That'd be a bit too many players for one squad. But that looks good to me. I'm quite happy with that. And uh, I think he's going to be quite a quick team guy today. I don't think there's really anything else for me to talk about. Obviously, in terms of finances, Liverpool's factor finance is a big club of fine. 75 million, and um, they've got, if you work it out, the mental maths, about 200, about, sorry, about 300, 300,000 pounds a week to spend on wages. So plenty, and you can uh, you know, you can tweak the budgets and all that sort of thing. Uh, it's actually 161. The wage budget we got for committee spend was different. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but there are plenty of signings that you can make Liverpool. If you just go on the transfers and go on extremely interested, um, you can pretty much filter it down to any player who might want to join. There's plenty on the market. So if you see anyone uh, that you recommend for the club, definitely leave them down in the comments. Anyway, that's going to be it, folks, for the FM18 team guide for Liverpool. If you've got any questions or you want to leave your Liverpool buy to save or general save on YouTube down in the comments, I might be nice and uh, give you a shout out if I'm feeling generous. But that's it, been it anyway for the Liverpool team guide. I hope you have enjoyed this video, folks. And I'll see you for the next one tonight. But I'm bringing out two a day. Now, it's going to be Everton, the other side of Liverpool, literally a few miles away at Stanley Park. <laughs> well, no, Goodison Park. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you in a few hours for the Everton team guide. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.